Hello everybody and welcome back to my garden. I am in the middle of a project and I thought I would bring you guys along and show you what I'm doing today. Um, it has been a bit since I've posted because we've just been in full spring mode with planting plants and planting seeds and getting drip irrigation ran and all of that good stuff. Just trying to get everything buttoned up for the season. Um, but I have a really exciting project that I'm doing today. If you can see right here behind me, I have an espaliered wall. Now, if you watch Dig, Plant, Water, Repeat, which is Janie's channel, she's like the queen of espalier and her channel is so great. I just highly recommend her, but I wanna give credit where credit is due. That's where I got this idea from. And I just thought I have to have an espalier on my wall. Um, I think it's gonna look so beautiful. So anyways, this is kind of my year of trying to like get some vertical interest in my garden to kind of have everything feel cozied in, like you're in a room and I just, you know, I, I don't have a very big garden, so I'm really trying to do that vertical interest as much as I possibly can. So anyways, like I said, I'm kind of already in the, uh, the project. I have dirt all over me, but let me turn the camera around and kind of show you what I'm doing um, for this espalier wall. So this is the east side of my house. I have a like air conditioning unit right there and some electrical and water and things like that, but it doesn't really bother me. But I do want to mask, not even mask, I just want this whole side of my house planted up as much as I possibly can. I think eventually we're gonna get rid of this curbing right here just so we can extend the bed out. Um, which I think will be nice and kind of give us some more space. But on this side, I'll, I'll just show you really quick. I have some dwarf hollyhocks right there and a couple of dahlias that I'm hoping will kind of cover this uh, stuff going on. I just planted a columbine. Let me get close here. A pink and white columbine, which is absolutely beautiful. And then if I could just come right over here, look at that. I've shown this on my Instagram before, but it is... <laughs> I think it just might be one of my most favorite roses ever. This is the Vanessa Bell by David Austin. And this yellow, it, it just speaks to me. And I love, I love this color. So I think that's going to be a beautiful bright pop right there. And then I have a GM right here. And then I just planted a whole bunch of seeds here and on this side as well. Just all sorts of different marigolds and cosmos and you name it, I just kind of scattered seeds in this area because I want it to be full. Um, but gardens to like really take time. Um, year to year, you just kind of build them up. I wanted something that was more affordable this year. So I just sprinkled a whole bunch of seeds. Um, but this project is what I wanna show you. Now you'll notice right here that this part of the espalier has kind of come apart. Um, I just redid it with more of this um, product that I will show you. Um, so we're, we're going to have to wait to reattach the wire on that one, but the rest of it is looking really good. Now this is definitely experimental. I did not want to drill into my stucco wall. I didn't want to deal with any water issues, like getting behind the stucco into the walls. I, I just, I wanted to avoid that if at all possible. So let me show you how I attached these right here. So I have this Loctite Power Grab Heavy Duty Construction Adhesive. It's marketed for indoor use, outdoor use, all of the things. So this is what I attached. And I attached these little guys right here that I got from Amazon. Let me go ahead and get one out here. These were also marketed for outdoor use, um, it, like specifically for trellises um, on plants. Oh, I'll keep my finger right there behind it. Anyways, so I just filled this little backside with as much of the construction adhesive as it took to fill it up and then to overflow it a little bit. And then we just stuck it onto the wall and gave it 48 hours to dry. The thing said 24, but I found that after 48 hours where I am um, is when it actually solidified. And then we just ran wire through this loop. Let me show you. So you can see it right here on the wall. Here's the adhesive that's totally set and dry after 48 hours. If I kind of like tug and wiggle on this, it feels really sturdy to me. Um, anyways, and then we just ran wire through the hoop and then this one's just kind of like laying on top, this cross section. Um, I thought about zip tying these together, but I think it'll be fine once the plants kind of grow up and they'll kind of, um, you know, stick them together, stick these wires together. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, and then this wire we just got from Home Depot and I will link everything below in the description box of all of these products that I'm using. 
Now, like I said, this is experimental. Um, I wanted to try something without drilling into the wall. So we're just gonna see, we're gonna see how this goes. We're gonna see how they hold up. If they start to pop off everywhere, you know, we don't even have the weight of the plants on here yet. If they kind of start to pop off, we might try some other things. And if it doesn't work, we'll eventually, maybe we'll end up drilling, I'm not sure. But I thought this was worth a try. I think the espalier design looks great. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and wrap the plants on today, except for on this back one where that one popped off. I think there just wasn't enough adhesive. After it popped off, I was like, oh, it has like barely any adhesive on it. So I really filled it. Um, so anyways, we'll reattach that in a couple days once it's all set and dry, but we can do these other ones here and I think it's gonna look beautiful and I really think it's going to work. But just as a heads up to everybody, this is an experiment. And the espalier does go all the way up, almost to the very top of the house right there. So can you guys just imagine this vine, which we haven't even talked about yet, this vine just growing up and covering this wall. I think it's going to look stunning if everything behaves and everything works like I want it to. Now let's go up here and I'll show you the plants that I got. I have four of them here, one, two, three, four. These are really fast growing vines. Um, these are the Hall's Japanese Honeysuckle with the white and yellow blooms. I know there's lots of different kinds of honeysuckle, but I really wanted the yellow. <laughs> um, just like that Vanessa Bell on the other side. I just love this color. I, I With the white, I think it's gonna be beautiful. It's really fast growing um, and it is, evergreen to semi evergreen. So I'm really excited about that. I think it's going to do really well here. Now, the only thing that I am slightly, I mean, even a little bit concerned about is the mature size, which says 20 feet high. Now I have measured this because I had to do all of the measuring beforehand to make sure I really got the design pattern correct, but this goes nine feet high. Now I totally realized that that <laughs> um, it could be a mistake if you don't keep up on the pruning. But since this is an espalier wall anyways, I'm gonna be out here once a week pruning on it, making sure that it is in the design that I want, that everything is looking really nice and tidy. So I'm not too worried about keeping it size checked. Um, I think if I, as long as I keep it size checked, I think it's going to work out beautifully. And the smell, I'm really, really excited about the smell. I just want this whole entire area to smell like that honeysuckle. Oh, I really, really look forward to that. And let me just show you right over here quickly to what I'm working on. Um, I did get this clematis as well. Look at that bloom. Oh, isn't that pretty? So I've been digging the hole and I'm about to get it planted in but let me show you, whoops. Oh, there it goes. This clematis is called the Niobe. Does anyone know how to say that? I sure don't. Let's pop you back up. Oh, is that not just gorgeous? Come on, stay. So I just have this little trellis right here that I think is a sweet little trellis. Um, the plant is covered in buds and I wanted a purple um, because we're gonna have yellow and white all over this wall. And I thought purple would be a beautiful contrasting color. And this is actually going to get taller than the trellis right here. So what I think I'm gonna do is just as it grows up towards the window, I'll just kind of come to the side here and train it up the side of the window. I think that is gonna be a beautiful contrast to the honeysuckle. So anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and get all of these plants in the ground, put on their trellising system, everything except for that one where the trellis popped, we'll wait um, and make sure that one's completely cured before we add the plant to the trellis system. But I think this is gonna make a really big impact right away. And I, I just, I think it's gonna be beautiful. So let's go ahead and get this done.
Okay, this is as far as I can get to today, but doesn't it look good? Oh my goodness, I'm so excited already. So we got this clematis planted and can you just imagine that whole trellis covered in purple and maybe even coming up a little bit by the window. And then we got one, two, three, four of the honeysuckle planted. And there are even a few little blooms on here. You can see right there. That's very exciting. I could smell it a little bit as I was kind of like fiddling around with things. Um, I, I was getting some honeysuckle smell, but it'll be beautiful and smell so good when it's in full bloom. And this is the last spot that I just need to wait to fix and then it'll be completely done. So I did put on right there that um, last little hook with some more adhesive. So we're gonna wait about 48 hours for that to dry and then we can hook back these two wires. And then I left some long strands of the honeysuckle to kind of train up that way. So in a couple days, we'll come back out here and finish this project up. It'll be so great. And you break it. Okay, you guys, we got this espalier all done. We had to fix that little pop uh, section that came off and I just finished trellising up this last honeysuckle. So I'll turn the camera around, give you one more look and we can check this off of the list. It looks really, really good and just gives this whole wall a really pretty bright pop and i think i showed before but we do have a couple little blooms on here so i just really look forward to this growing and filling in and covering this whole entire wall let me see if i can get all the way backed up here there you go so just imagine all of these wires just covered in this beautiful green honeysuckle it's going to be beautiful and you guys that's going to do it for me for today's video i'm really excited about this it's going to give me so much vertical interest and oh i just really hope it it does everything that i want it to do so anyways thank you all so much for following along with me and we will see you in the next video bye